Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mind Test and Mod Review. And today we are looking at the built-in item replacement mod. So now if you're unaware, Mind Test game ships with a mod called built-in. And I think it's actually part of the engine itself. But whatever the point, it ships with the game and it kind of handles some internal aspects of stuff. Um, and this mod by 10 plus 1... Uh, changes up a few little things. Uh, there's like six things that change. So let's start by looking at lava. So it doesn't really change like the textures or how lava itself works. Um, so for example, let's just do this. Um, and this might actually be a horrible idea, but uh, we'll see. Good, it doesn't melt the ice. Well, all that was interesting. Um, but you'll notice that it didn't create a lava source there. That's, that probably needs to be demoed a little better. Let's go ahead and let's put, dump some more lava. I got a whole bunch of lava. So you still don't get unlimited lava. It's still a flowing node in the center. Um, but what you do get, uh, let's go ahead and actually just chuck one of these empty buckets into the lava. And, uh, yeah, it burns up now. So you, you won't get entities floating around in your lava anymore. Which, in the past, they would. And then they would kind of just sit there. Um, I don't know if I can... I can. Excellent. Good. That was that was a huge safety hazard. Um, another fun thing with items... Uh, let's just go ahead and take the snowball and throw it on the ice. Items when dropped now slide on ice, which is pretty neat because otherwise you pretty much had that effect on ice where you would chuck it and it would just pretty much hit whatever it was going to hit and stop. Now on ice it slides, which is, which is pretty cool. Another fun thing, uh, every single one of these deals with dropped entities. So if we throw like a snowball in a hole here. And then we place some sand. It'll actually uh, throw the snowball so it's not inside of a node. And we can pretty much keep doing this as much as our pretty little heart desires. Or ugly heart. I mean, I, I'm not going to discriminate here. But yeah, you can just keep going and going. Um, I don't really know what the point of doing that is. But you don't have to worry about getting items lost if they're sitting on the ground while you are building because they will automatically move to an open space. And then another little thing here. If we throw an item in flowing water, it now moves. And in my experience, every single time it's turned, I want to get one to go straight. But I, I just don't think it's ever going to. It takes the turn again. Like, no, just go straight. Please, pretty please. Nope. I don't know if it has something to do with the checks for what an empty note is. Let's go ahead and try. Chuck a stack of sand in there. And now it goes to here. Okay, so I... I don't know what the... What the science behind its determining where to go is but as you can tell entities will move in flowing water now so theoretically um you could probably use this to your advantage and do something but i'm not really sure what exactly like i would think we could go ahead and dig a hole and then oh I guess I can't reach that block do this and we could use this as like a low-level transport system again I don't really know what the advantage to this is but it, it could be done so yeah you could you could drop an entity in the water way up here like so and then we'll flow down 
and then it will drop there and keep flowing and turn here and end up there yeah like i said i don't really know what the advantage to doing that is other than i suppose you can do cool stuff with it but uh yes it is it's available to do um looking at the notes that's actually uh pretty much it there is one thing that would be very boring to demo um and that is that items are removed after 900 seconds or the time that's specified if i remove item in the mind test configuration file um and because i don't think we want to sit here for uh what is that 15 minutes is that 15 minutes that should be 15 minutes right i'm pretty sure that's 15 minutes um because that'd be really boring just watching a snowball spin around for 15 minutes to then see it vaporize um i'm assuming it just disappears i mean that that's what it says they're removed so obviously they disappear um but this is advantage advantageous if you are say potentially running a server or you're just playing single player but for some reason you have a ton of items that are just sitting on the ground the only time i've really ever experienced that is when i'm like digging a bunch of dirt and my inventory is full and so it's just dropping the pieces of dirt on the ground and then you just get this whole field of dirt nodes sitting around that need to get picked up by hand um as far as i'm aware those pretty much don't ever delete until you have too many in a map block and then the the game just deletes them by itself um, but this will pretty much make it so they expire basically and you could change it to be you know whatever you want you can actually even disable it if you want by putting that setting to negative one so that wraps this video up i know it's uh pretty short but there's only a handful of things that this mod adds but i felt like uh they were important enough to warrant making a mod review video on it um truth be told i'm actually just kind of going through alphabetically the list of mods that i have and if i haven't already made videos on them making videos on them but um We'll just, we'll just keep that between you and me. So anyway, that wraps up the review of the built-in item replacement mod. Uh, links will all be on my website, which is linked in the video description, as always. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. If you liked it, of course, if you didn't like it, uh, either do nothing or dislike it if you actually disliked it. If you were kind of neutral, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do anything. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week with another Mind Test Mod Review.